turn you a little far from us. Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. I'm getting good at that. Oh, yo. Hey, yo. What the fudge is that? Welcome everybody to my little corner of the internet. So today we are going to be doing some more Hogwarts Legacy. If you guys have been waiting for the next episode, well, it is now. So let's get right into it. We gotta go to flying oh, class. Nice to see you, my young this is friend. what's up, man. This is the next uh, quest, and I'm man, I'm excited for this one. I can't tell you guys how excited I am because. Man, it doesn't take forever to get to places, but like walking on foot all the time, man, it could take like some time. You know what I'm saying? Fast. Me. Everybody, grab a broom, and we shall get started. Let's go. Sorry for yelling. My bad, guys. I apologize. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. The goal What's of today uh... is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This idea, yeah. some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact like, well, it was in me. this class. You don't think well it was we'll you, bro. We'll leave to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now. Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Okay. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Okay, up, sweet. Up. up, you stupid ratty school broom. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Okay. Yo, I'm so excited for this one. Let's go. Okay. Look and at my guy, bro. He's like, what the? While you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do okay, take sweet. care. I'm sorry I'm saying okay so much, but I think I'm getting the hang of this. I want them returned in one piece. Yes. Good. And lean. Hey, hey, hey. I'm a natural, bro. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What did I say? R2 for what? I missed it. Oh. What a view. Hello. Nice day for a flight. <laughs> okay, hey, he's going the opposite way, bro. I'm supposed to go this way. Okay, never mind. He was going the right way. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Yo, this is awesome, bro. Holy crap. You know, when I first started playing the game and I experienced a lot of the, the stuff for the first time, I was like, bro, this is amazing. And then, like, it was, like, kind of, like, normal. I wouldn't say boring or anything, but it was, like, Okay, yeah, this is like the game I expected it to be really good, right? And then this is, bro, this is awesome, man. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? That was a crack it, man. Yo, I wish it was photo mode in this game. That would be so good, guys. Like, I'm not even capping. I wonder if they're at it. Because, I mean, it is a solo game. Right? So, I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't. 
I hope they would. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clockton. Yeah, so, I remember you, bro. Care to join me for a bit of high flying fun? Um, bro. You mean on these brooms? Cause I don't want to do that, man. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Oh man. The tour I keep... is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. I keep doing this stuff to myself, man. And I'm a I'm gonna get in trouble. Let's hope that you're like Gareth, man. Tea by the window today. You're like Gareth, bro, when he got me in trouble in potion class, man. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, dang. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. A bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? I don't know, man. Something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippo grip? What? I don't know what that means, man. That's Sorry. The famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's I mean, bro. a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. Yo ho. Okay, man, this is awesome. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. How are you going so fast, Chief? What the fudge, man? I just hit my mic, I'm sorry. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. I will, bro. I'm Tonight. sorry. That was some rather good flying. Thank you, but like. I, I'm, I'm really gonna try to not do that next time because I always freaking with Kagawa, but you have to admit, get in trouble. Those views were worth it. I mean, bro. I agree, it was worth but like... losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwich is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I've not forgotten oh. about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go do this right now. What is this one? What's this one? Oh! Okay, we're gonna go do this one first. Okay, so. This is really good. I'm having a ton of fun. Uh something is we got to get a broom so we'll go Please do that me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can i have an idea of somewhere you can focus on your and then the werewolves join the goblin 
Okay, awesome. What does this thing do? Let me answer. Oh. <laughs> See guys, bro? I've been learning. Obviously not much because it took me a while, but you know, hey. It's okay. What the fudge, bro? Holy crap, that's dope. Man. <laughs> okay, we're here. I'm so excited for this one. I've been hearing some stuff about this, so. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere <laughs> away from prying eyes. I like how my guy just backs up. <laughs> Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Oh, snap, bro. Let's go. Okay, I'll stop. I'm sorry. Sorry about that one. But I am really excited, so I think it's okay. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it. By walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? <coughs> Sorry, I had to. He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing Ooh, spell. Let's you can go. cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. Okay, I suggest okay. you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Awesome, huh? Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Did it. No problem, bro. No problem. Splendid. Now, cast evidence. Those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. Yeah. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Bro, I have a ton of that. I've been collecting it like. Where in crazy. Merlin's name is that elf? Revelio. Is that goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take Dang, a quick man. look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Okay. Uh oh, dear me. Can't you keep it? I'm sorry, bro. Add the uh, Go back real quick, guys. Um, what's this? Oh. Ah, yeah. Revelio. Huh. Oh, okay, no matter. We use Rebellion. this to get up there. Um. Let's explore. I hope a this little. isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! What? No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Rip that guy, bro. Uh 
I'm actually gonna come back over here because um, I don't know if this is the right way. Wait, what the heck? Never mind. I know what to do now. Okay. So if I. Oh, dang, bro. Okay. We got a vest school uniform. That's pretty nice. Nice. I don't know why I said nice twice, but it's twice as nice. I don't know, bro. You know? Oh, dang. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? They don't. I'm just playing. <laughs> Was um, that a golden stitch? Yeah, bro, it is. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get all the extra stuff. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm go. Cause... I hope that house elf can find us in here. I can't figure out how to do that one, so. Man. This looks insane, though. Hey, yo. Yo, what you doing, bro? Yikes! Careful, huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <sighs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unportable, yeah. so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident. If ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Okay. Ice cream, let's go. Come on. Here we go. Talk about everywhere, man. Ice cream, let's go. Yeah, it's happening. Oh, dang. Oh, it's gonna happen, though. I'm gonna get it, bro. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dang. Watch out for that chair. And... Yo, where's the ice cream, bro? There's no ice cream in here. You've given Man. yourself quite a canvas to work with. There's no ice cream, though. Bro. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Yo, I've had a lot of... A lot of stuff I need to do with this. Let me see. Oh, okay. 
You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Okay, sweet. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay, sweet. Let's do this. Oh, dang. Now, Very this good. just when conjuring more complex stuff, objects, right? you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts ah. are like recipes. They list the okay. ingredients so like or crafting. resources needed recipes to conjure a particular like okay. object. Sweet. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much yeah. safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Now, can you get um, ones that are like bigger? Um, I did this one for now. Um, potions? Now, what are the differences between these? Oh, they're just different themes. Um, we're gonna do scientific uh, for now, just cause, why not, right? Oh, dang, so wait. Okay, this one or this one? I'm gonna go with this one. I put this wherever. Um, how do I place it? Oh wait, yo, I can change the, oh snap. Okay. Now there's no real difference between these two. Oh wait, wait a minute, I see it. We're gonna do black. It looks a bit nicer. And we're gonna do it right here. Boom. Okay, now we need a potting table. Potions. Oh, right here. Okay. Um, oh, snap, yeah. I think I might stick with uh, scientific for most of the stuff right here. I can't place it there because it won't look right. I'm gonna do it right here. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in that ain't center. or outside the castle it's... grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. No, I don't think it is. Do not underestimate his insights. Okay, thank you. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. 
Uh, yeah, I would like to right now. Why not? I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I think I have enough, but... Um... We're just going to do some of this real quick. No, I don't want to get rid of that. Okay, I can't do that one. Um. I think that's good. I can't get rid of that, right? No. Good. So wait, I think I have enough now. I have the moonstone you requested, yep. Professor. I knew Good. It. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Oh. Um. What do you mean? Like, oh. What was that? Oh, dang, Nabbit. It said wall decorations. Those aren't wall decorations. Oh, wait, these are wall decorations. Um, wait, is that it, right? Rugs. I need like a. Let's see. Okay. Now. No way. Hey. I want this to go like completely is that did that work yeah that looks good we'll place a couple chairs right here why not right This one. I gotta place a lot of these, so. I want a table right here. Do it like right, right here is fine. Hey, this is going to be awesome. Ah, man. Okay. Can't change the color of this one. Okay. Boom. Oh, we got a lot more wall stuff to place. Um. Statues? Nope. 
actually do need to place my thing back real quick though. Let's do this. Right. Boom. Okay. It says, oh. I'm gonna do this one right here. Wait. Yo, wait. How big is. Oh, fudge. Okay. Now. We gotta hurry this up a little. All I have is mirrors, man. Um, okay. We'll do this one, I guess. We'll do it right here. Nice. Oh, man. How big is this? Now, we don't got that much stuff, so if I'm gonna have to get rid of some of this later, but it has to be all wall decorations. We can use this stuff too, so. Oh, dang it. Does this count? Oh, it does. Okay. Boom. Good work. Shall we move on? Yes, let's go. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Okay. Just aim your wand at any conjured item. Um. Oh, dang, Nabbit Man. The altering spell to customize it. Um. Oh, fudge, what I do? Oh, snap, bro. Okay. Now this one. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. What do you mean, bro? You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Um... Okay. Oh my. I think... I'll take this one. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Okay. Professor Weasley said Let's I should it. ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Um... Moonlit. Oh. 
dark and mysterious, bro. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll do a moonlit. I would that like the room to good. feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Hmm, huh, sounds perfect. Oh, yo. Okay. Hmm. Quite a difference. Indeed, of course, yeah. You needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now nah. you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Oh. You know, bro, this is quite awesome. What the? Uh. What the heck, bro? Oh, man. <laughs> An even it's getting... bigger space. Yeah, tell me about Did it, bro. What happened? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Awesome. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Sweet. Oh, wow. Okay. That wraps up for today. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe like a boss. Remember to live your own life and be humble. Also, don't forget to use code NEXUSKIN at checkout at W.com for 10% off your order. Hope you enjoyed the episode. It was a bit longer, but that's okay. I mean, it was super awesome. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye, everyone.